can just worship. Father, you are the worthy one. You're, yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're the one. Lord, you are Lord. There is no one. There is no one higher than you. You alone, lift up your voice. 
to him. Father, you are the worthy, worthy, worthy one. You are the worthy one. Seated in heaven. You alone. And the boss. Lord, you.
with splendor Lord, and majesty. Worship the King of Kings. Lord, Worship the Lord of Lords. Lord, the one who cover himself with Lord, light Lord, as a garment. Worship him this morning. Mandelebo siada. Likayaba sheke telebo. Libroso kolobo. Lord, we worship you. The one who established the foundations of the earth. Worship him this morning. Worship him, King of Glory. Worship him as the greater Lord, Lord, that I am. Worship him as the soon coming king. Worship him as the Lord who can do. Worship him as the one who is enthroned forever. Worship him this morning. We worship you. Everlasting Father, we worship you. Ancient of days, we worship you. Everlasting Father, we worship you. Adonai, we worship you. Our shepherd, we worship you. Our healer, we worship you. Our provider, we worship you. Our sanctifier, we worship you. Blessed have in time of need, we worship you. Halido Soto, Lord, who is great and mighty in battle, we worship you. We worship you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we worship, we worship you. Halabo se talia. Le soto koto tulianda. Le de 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 bosita. Linga la bosi. Riba saka di ende ke si talia ni We worship. Ancient of days, the Lord that was and is and needs to come. We worship you because you are God. We worship you because you are great. We worship you because you are mighty. We have tried you, we have tested you, and you remain faithful. You have proven yourself to us over and over. You are the God who is great and mighty in battle. There is none like you. We join the host of angels this morning. The 24 elders. And we proclaim you are God. You are God. There is none like you. We bless you everlasting father. Receive our worship this morning. Let it come to you as a sweet smelling fragrance. And as we worship you this morning, let heaven smile upon us. We bless you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we worship you. Amen. Put your hands together. Put your hands together as we celebrate the goodness of God. Celebrate the mighty God, the great and the soon coming king hallelujah amen you may be seated please be seated majestically hallelujah glory be to god in the highest glory be to god we thank god for another beautiful day 
we thank God for another beautiful month. And I welcome you to this beautiful month, this month, which is our month of incredible enlargement. Hallelujah. Amen. Please help me announce to your neighbor incredible enlargement. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I welcome each and every one of you to the house of your father. I thank God for what he's busy doing in your life. I can see the glory of God upon your life. Please help me look at your neighbor and announce via Bluetooth. You are looking better than last week. Hallelujah. You are, I can see the glory of God over your life. Hallelujah. Amen. For those who are visiting us the first time, second time, third time, you are welcome. This is the house of your father. To all the royal sons and daughters, you are all welcome. Hallelujah. And to all our online guests and family, you are all welcome. May the Lord bless you real good. And I also want to appreciate the woman of God who led us in this unadulterated worship. May the Lord bless you, ma. May the Lord continue to use you for his glory. And together with the worship team, please help me put your hands together and celebrate. The Lord, hallelujah. It's been a wonderful week, wonderful week. But before we, we had a wonderful time in the celebration and we give God all the glory. But yesterday we had a wonderful time with, with the boys to men. With the boys to men. Great things happen. Vision we are casted. Eyes we are open. So I'm going to call one of them or two of them just to come and share with us. What happened yesterday? Hallelujah. What's happened? You see, Paul said, if I boast, I boast in the Lord. Hallelujah. So that you can encourage someone here, somebody online, that next time you need to be here. You need to be here. Can I call our mediatic, Ruben, please come, quickly, come. Come. Mama, please call us here. Hallelujah. Just briefly tell us what happened yesterday. Uh -huh. Good morning, George. Good morning. Um, yesterday, we had the, the Boys to Men conference or seminar, should I say. Like, we enjoyed it. Uh, we learned a lot. Like, for some of us, things we, could, we didn't expect to learn such things. Uh, we learned new things. How, how to manage ourselves in life as men and growing in God as a man. So I would like to, to invite some of the men that were not here yesterday, or boys, to come, to come and join us in the next year. Because you will learn a lot. Because some of us now, as we are going out, we feel, we feel more older. Like, we have learned more and yeah, we feel like we are men now. Because some of us... Okay, I see, Miss Case, you are standing there. You want to share something. Please come. Hallelujah. They are so excited. Hallelujah. Give things with Hallelujah. 
said they began to We don't know that, and that will not be the portion. And it is my desire, as young as 26, 27, I want to see our young men marry here. Hallelujah. We don't want a situation where we are making babies left, right, and center. Uh -uh, we don't want. That is not royal at all. So, hear me. If you see a girl in the house, and you desire to have her as a wife, first, before you talk to her, come and talk to me. Uh, come and talk to me we will pray together we will ask is this the will of God I don't want you to come and tell me as a young man ah man of God I had a dream I was fetching water by the well and the sister was helping me uh -uh. we need to be real we need to face reality uh -huh. I don't want story here no boyfriend and girlfriend we want people who are in courtship so if we are going to Canada, we know, and now we announce, this one and this one, they are no go area. They are on their way to Canada. Hallelujah. Eh? So if you are coming from free state and you see another sister in free state, come and talk to me. Then I will help you to get to United States. Hallelujah. Amen. It, it, it is, it's wonderful. And I was so excited when they were casting their vision because many came not knowing what a vision is what the life is but by the time we finished the holy spirit took over and they were going they went out on fire we pray that the next one we have those of you who are not there please come and be part of it and you see what god is doing we are raising agent of change you will not be part of those who complain you will be part of all those who make a change in this nation. Can I hear the loud amen from the boys to men? Hallelujah. Amen. Now let's go to the, to the word of God. Let's go to the word of God. We're going to read the book of Isaiah chapter 54. We read from verse 2 to 3. Isaiah 54. If you are there, can I hear your amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Now, Kingdom Kids, you can go to your church. Kingdom Kids, you can go to your church. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you as you go. Kingdom Kids. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 2 to 3. Enlarge the place of your tent. Somebody say enlarge. Enlarge the place of your dressed tent. Stretch your curtains wide. Do not hold back. Lengthen your cords. Strengthen your stakes. Verse 3. For you will spread out to the right and to the left. Your descendants will dispose of disposes nation and settled in their desolate city. Amen. Father, bless the reading of this word. Speak to us like never before, and as you do what only you can do, I pray that the Holy Spirit will help us to understand your mind this morning. And at the end of the day, we will go home rejoicing in the goodness of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Somebody shout a loud amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God has been faithful to us. If God has been faithful to you, can you just wave your hand? Hallelujah. God has been faithful. Our God has never disappointed us because God is not in the business of disappointing people. Only men disappoint. He told us, I will never, ever leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. 
And here we are in another month full of life. And all we can do is give God all the glory. Hallelujah. Before I go on, I just want you to take a moment. Just bow your head and say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for bringing me into this month. I thank you. Thank God for the moment. The moment that God took you out from the fire. Thank God for the moment when you thought it was over. You did not see the light to move to the next level. But God came through for you. He carried you through. Just thank God. Thank God. Thank God for taking away that pain. Thank God for ordering your steps. Even the moment when you were not faithful. God has been faithful. He has remained faithful. Thank God this morning. We bless you Lord. In the name of jesus we pray amen hallelujah this morning i am going to start with a series of incredible enlargements somebody say incredible enlargement and the first message i'm kicking off with this morning is enlarge your capacity enlarge your capacity hallelujah the scripture say enlarge the place of your tent stretch your tent cuttings wide do not hold back lengthen your cords strengthen your stakes hallelujah and there is a reason why the scripture came forth. If you go to verse 1 of Isaiah 54, God was speaking to a nation. He used the, the metaphor and said, Rejoice, barren woman. He is actually not talking of a woman physically who is barren. He's talking about a nation who is barren. When you say somebody is barren, it means that person is not productive. It means fruitfulness is not coming forth you have tried but something has not happened and the word of god says you nation nation who is barren i want you to rejoice and the lord is speaking to somebody the bible say you are a holy nation you are a precious you are a, a, a holy nation snatch out from the kingdom of darkness the lord is speaking to you this morning rejoice because something Something is going to happen. He says something is going to happen because you are going to break forth. Hallelujah. So the Lord said to us in this house, this is the month of incredible enlargement. When the Lord speaks, it is very important that we do not only believe what he says but that we also understand what the lord is saying are you hearing me when the lord says something there is a part of you to believe what the lord is saying but there is a part for you to understand what the lord is saying because when you believe and you also understand, it will help you to align yourself. When the angel visited Samson's mother, said, I'm going to give you a child. And this child will be special. But the woman asked to ask for an understanding. And the angel said, this child is special do not cut the air because it's a nazareth hallelujah i see one of our mama from the old age home god bless you god bless you ma for coming to visit us god bless you can we celebrate her this morning god bless you amen so when you believe and you understand you will be able to align yourself remember jeremiah 29 verse 11 one of the most popular scripture the bible said i know i the lord i know the plans that i have for you plan to prosper plan not to harm you plan to give you an expected end so when we started this year when we step our foot into this year the lord spoke to us he said first and foremost before you do anything i want you to him 
I want you to strive after my kingdom. Seek first my kingdom. Aim at my kingdom. Strive at my kingdom. And not only that, I want you to aim. I want you to strive at my righteousness. My way of doing things in my kingdom. I want you to strive at walking in the right attitude and the character of me, God, your father. That's what the Lord said. Matthew 6, 33. And he said, when you do all these things, every other thing shall be what? Shall be added into it. We have been doing that. We have been obeying God. We have been walking in his precepts. We have been walking in the, 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 the plans that he laid for us. We have been giving. We have been worshiping. We have been sowing, fasting and praying, preserving ourselves. And the Lord said, it's time for me to do my part. The Lord said, now is my time to do my part. I am now ready to fulfill my part of the bargain. Hallelujah. And it is the plan of God to fulfill his promise because God never owns anyone. If he says so, it shall be given. When you sow, it must surely be given to you. If he says seek me, he will surely what? You will find him. That is his principle. We have played our part and the Lord said, now is my time. I am ready to pay you according to my desires. Hallelujah. As a result of this, the Lord said, I've been so good to you. He has proved his faithfulness to us. And in this house, we have seen his hand. In all areas, we have seen his hand because we have been walking in his ways. We have gotten to a point that no one needs to convince you or myself that the Lord is good. When we say the Lord is good, we are not just saying it because people are saying it. We are not saying it because it sounds nice. We are saying it because we have tasted and we have seen that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. There are some saying that people pronounce because they hear it. But we are not saying it because it's a popular saying. We are saying it because we have heard God. We have tasted him and we have seen that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. And now the Lord is saying, I've been so faithful to you. I've carried you through. Now is the time for incredible enlargement. It's time for incredible enlargement. For those who are English students, you know when you talk of something incredible, you are saying this thing is impossible to believe. You are saying it is extraordinary. You are saying this is a wow. This thing is having a wow factor. And when you talk about enlarge, I try to look for the word because I am like Peter. I always want to understand every word that the Lord speaks. So when the Lord says incredible like me, I want to know, Lord, what are you saying? So I went to look at the Bible dictionary, the, 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 the Hebrew dictionary and the strong concordance to look at the word. This is how they define the word enlargement. Hallelujah. Say to enlarge means to grow large. It means to go beyond the limit where you are. Hallelujah. It means to make room for more. Somebody say, make room for more. It means to increase your capacity. It means to break out, to break out of the norm. To break out of status quo. Hallelujah. I, 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 I remember I was sharing a story in one of our marriage seminars. A story I had many years ago. A, 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 a man married a young lady. And when this man lost pancake so much, he lost pancake. And when the lady wants to make pancake in the morning, she has this small frying pan. And she will make this small leaky pancake. And the man is so hungry, he will wait for the first one, eat, waiting for the next one. And he keeps complaining. Why are you making this small little pancake? And the wife will say, don't disturb me. This is how my mother taught me. 
So one day, they, 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 they went to visit the mother and he asked the mother, Mama, your wife said this is how you taught her to make pancake. When I go out in the shop, the pancakes are big, but this one is small. The mother said, I don't bother. This is how my mother taught me. Glory be to God, the grandmother was still around. So when they finally met the grandmother, they asked the mother, he asked the grandmother, why do you make pancakes so small? And she laughed. She said, at that time, we didn't have money to buy a big frying pan. So we were just using. Many of us, the Lord is saying, you have been operating at a certain level. But in the time of incredible enlightenment, it's time to break forth. It's time to change your mind. It's time to do things differently. Hallelujah. What does it mean to be enlarged? It means to expand. The word of God says, expand your capacity. Expand your thought system. Expand your belief system. Because God said, I am doing something exceedingly incredible. Hallelujah. What does it mean to enlarge? To enlarge means to go further. To go further. To break the limit. To say, I am tired of where I am. I am taking a step ahead. Hallelujah. For some of you, you are walking. But where you are walking, you are a supervisor. I thank God for what God has done. But this is a time of incredible enlargement. You have to stretch yourself to move to the next level. If it requires you to take extra classes to study at night, you need to do it. You have to come to a point and say, I am tired of staying here. To enlarge means to take a step forward and not be where you are. Hallelujah. We are still talking of what does it mean to enlarge? To enlarge means to occupy new territories. You are not staying where you are. You are taking territories physically you are taking territories spiritually you are taking territories business wise last year we talked about seven mountains seven mountains where we need to take over we talked seven mountains of influence the mountain of media the mountain of of, of religion the mountain of business there are seven mountains Mountains, it's time where the youth need to rise up uh, and stretch forth uh, and take over territories. I'm tired of going online and I am seeing nonsense content that will not add value to me. Many of you young people, you are spending time on social media watching skits which will not add value to you. Nonsensical skits which add no value to your education, to your spirit, to your finances. And these guys, while you walk and you click like after watching, they smile to the bank. It's time that our young people will take the media. You need to go out, create a YouTube channel for yourself. Go on Instagram, begin to advance the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. We are still talking about what it means to enlarge. To enlarge means you do not allow limitation. When you see limitation, you break it down. You say no limit, no limit in my mind, no limit in my physical body, no limit in my finances. I'm breaking it down. Hallelujah. It means no boundaries. Say, where the enemy like to put boundaries. There are lies that have been, that are boundaries for us. But he said, it's time to break down boundaries. Evil boundaries must be broken down. Evil boundaries must be broken down. Hallelujah. They tell you you can't achieve this. In this month of incredible enlargement, with God on your side, you can achieve it. Hallelujah. To enlarge means to think big. Somebody say think big. Hallelujah. You need to think big. It's time to think big. Break the limitation of thinking small. Our God is a big God. In this month of the the, or, or if incredible enlargement is either you think big or you go home. 
there is no time for mediocrity. There is no time of looking at yourself small. In this month, the phrase, I cannot do it, is hereby abolished in this house. I cannot do it. I don't have the capacity. Is hereby abolished. No longer shall that statement be heard in your mouth. It is not possible. Is hereby abolished. I cannot make it. Is hereby abolished. All you need to keep on doing is, I can do all things through Christ that sentence me. Hallelujah. So, what the Lord is promising all this month is a great enlargement, expansion, which human mind cannot comprehend. I like the way Apostle Paul put it in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. He put it nicely. He said, what eyes have not seen, what ear have not heard, and what no mind has conceived, this God has prepared for those who love him. Say, for everyone who loves God, what eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, those are the things God has prepared for you. Hallelujah. I believe you should get excited by now and start to appreciate God. Hallelujah. May I announce to you, child of God, that God has more for you. I say God has more for you. Hallelujah. You have testified, but there is still more. You have received healing, but there is still more. You have received breakthrough, but there is still more. And God is telling us this morning, enlarge your capacity. Enlarge your tent. Enlarge your capacity to receive. Enlarge your capacity for success. And hear me, it is not a suggestion. It is a commandment. It's a commandment. The scripture says, enlarge the place of your tent because there are things I want to do to, for you. And God is speaking to us this morning. Enlarge your capacity. God is saying, I have many blessings for you. I have so much I want to do through you. In the parable of the talents, he did not give them the talent according to their anointing. He did not give them the talent according to their beauty. He gave it to them according to their capacity. And the Lord said, there are things I want to do. I want to take territories through you. Enlarge your capacity to receive that which I'm depositing in you. Hallelujah. The Lord is saying there are young people here that I want to make a multi-billionaire so that they can advance the kingdom of God. Enlarge your capacity. If the bank won't say we are giving loan for businesses and you bring a business proposal and all you want to do is to sell Kapana. They can't give you 200,000. What will a Kapana seller do with 200,000? But if you can enlarge his capacity, say I'm going to build an abattoir and I will be supplying meat to butcheries. Then they will say you have enlarged your capacity. You see people selling tomatoes, fruit, and veg by the roadside. We thank God for what God is doing in their life. And somebody come and say, hey, I want to make you a millionaire. Now I'll bring a business proposal. And all the business proposal you brought consists of 2,000. I buy tomatoes because I can't buy more tomatoes because it will get rotty. It's a perishable good. I will just buy this few. Then I will buy this to potato. I will buy it. You can't receive more funding. You can't. You need to enlarge your capacity. And that's what the Lord is telling us. Hallelujah. 
when I still work in the corporate world, I work for an organization and we used to apply for funding from, from donor agency. Sometimes, when you submit your proposal, they check the capacity of your project. And for some organization, they will tell you, sorry, the money we have is too big for your project. Can you imagine that? Say, you are going to waste our money. You're going to waste our money. And the Lord is telling you, my child, I have many blessings in store for you. I have lined up favor for your future. I want to take you to places you have never been. But in order for you to partake in this blessing, you need to increase. You need to enlarge your capacity so that you can receive fully. Enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch your tent. Curtains wide. Do not hold back. Strengthen your cords. And strengthen your stakes. That's what the Lord is saying. God is telling somebody. You've come to a point. You know I am a God who is faithful. I can bless. And I am a God who can do exceedingly. And abundantly. Above all you can ever imagine. Or think. But you need to break out of your limitation. After this message. I see somebody breaking out of limitation. You need to stretch your mind. That's what the word of God says. You need to stretch your mind. Your mind needs to be open so that you can read and you can conceive what the Lord is saying. Somebody said, if you want to hide money from a black man, hide it in a book. For many of us, Especially the young one. I challenge you. The only time you read is when you want to study for exam. But it's time to stretch your mind. You need to read far and wide. I've seen young people raised up in the house of God. When they go to university, they are easily swayed from the ways of the Lord. Why? Because they don't read the word. One of the things the ATS do is that they read far and wide. They don't have the spirit but they read the Bible cover to cover and their mindset is to come and challenge you. If you don't know your word, they will tell you this word of God is not real. And this young boy will go to university. They will convince them and they will leave faith. They will come back home and tell mama I have graduated and I am no longer a child of God why because they did not stretch their mind we are now in a generation where we want things at the fingertips of our hand a microwave generation this generation if there is a book you can go online and look for the summary you look for the executive summary of the book. It will just give you. And it's so amazing. We tell you you can only read this for three minutes. Then you just read. Then you say I have an idea. A fair idea. You don't know nothing. You need to stretch. Your mind. Many of us are sitting here. You have the capacity. As created by God. To write books. Books that will change generation. But how can you write book if you don't read book? Because it's only when you read, you will know styles of writing. It's time that we break limitation. It's time that we break boundaries. Our gadgets have been limitation for us. And God is unable to move. Do you know if you take a book to read, after reading for 15 minutes, you get tired. But you can watch clip upon clip for three hours and you are not tired. That's what we do. Our timetable, which is not written, but it's in our mind. One hour for checking status updates. One hour for clicking likes. 
Another one hour for doing all these things. And those things are limiting you. But the Lord is saying to you, my child, I want to do great things through you. I am waiting on you to invest in you. Enlarge your capacity. Stretch your mind. Open your eyes so that you can see. Go in the place of prayer. Some of us, you can pray for 20 minutes. Glory be to God. But the Lord is saying, come up here. I want to show you more. There is another level. Your speaking in tongues is just ba, 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 ba. Where is the ma, 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 ma? God wants to take you to another level. There is always another level. Tell your friend there is another level. I thank God for what he has done in your life. I thank God for what he's busy doing. But there is another level. Your prayer life needs to go to another level. You need to get closer in the secret place because God wants to talk to you. God wants to reveal things to you. He wants to reveal strategies to you. But if you don't stretch yourself, if you don't open your mind, you will not be able to advance. The scripture said, don't hold back. It means you need to move forward in faith. You have to exercise your faith to a level where it has never been before. The highest some of us have fasted is three days. It's time to move to the next level. Stretch yourself seven days. Stretch yourself 21 days. Praying for five minutes. Take it to 10 minutes. Take it to one hour. Studying the word of God. Two minutes. Take it to one hour. You need to what? Stretch yourself. If you don't stretch yourself, you can't get a 4.0 or 5.0 GPA in the university. It's only students who stretch themselves are able to get there. Dig deep in the word of God. You need to break the old tradition of doing things. Break the old tradition of doing things. The tradition you have created for yourself. Service starts on Sunday, 10 o'clock. I will arrive 5 to 10. Break your sedat cycle. Stretch yourself. Service is starting 10 o'clock. God, I'm coming to meet you 9 30. I will sit there, take my Bible, and I begin to pray. Manda Lebro Shakalara. When I go home, I'm taking the word. Lord, when I get home, I'm going to spend time to pray. I want to dichotomize the word. Be like the Berean Christians. In the book of Acts chapter 17. When they go home, they open the world. You need to open your eyes of understanding. Stretch yourself. In the book of Genesis chapter 13. The Lord spoke to Abraham in chapter 12. Go to a land I will show you. They carried a lot of people including Lord. And the Lord said to him in chapter 13. Abraham. I have been doing so much for you in this journey. But I want you to do more. And the Lord spoke to him. Abraham. That was after Lord parted from him. He said look around you from where you are. As far as you can see. I will give you. Walk in those lands. It is yours. For some of us. If we are going to enlarge our capacity every lot must disappear because God cannot call you and speak to you because there is a lot standing next to you for some of us your lot is your friend for some of us your lot is your habit for some of you your lot is your is your gadget it's time to allow the lot to go hallelujah say straight yourself when you are stretching yourself, some things needs to go. Lots must go. If you want to see far, if you want to hear from God, lots must go. 
I pray for somebody this morning. Every Lord that is keeping you bondage, every law that is stopping you from hearing God shall go in the name of Jesus. God wants to do more. What is telling you? Enlarge your capacity to receive. And like I said today, I'm just laying the foundation for us to know what the Lord wants to do for us. Incredible enlargement. As a church, we will be taking territories. Branches will be open. Souls will be won. Nations of the earth will be coming to the knowledge of Christ. And God wants to use you, you and you, to achieve this. The question is, are you ready to be part of the move of God? We need to live life beyond just breathing. Thank God I'm alive. Life is more than that. Why are you alive? Are you functioning at full capacity? We thank God for life, but there is a reason why you are alive. And the Lord is saying, now I'm ready to move because the king of glory is coming very, very soon. Jesus is coming soon. And he said, occupy till I come. It's time to look at yourself and say, I am more than this. I am better than this. I can do more for God than this. It's time to stop that micro mentality. God wants to take you places. Tradition must be broken. Culture must be broken. Thought system must change. You must discipline yourself. You have to move to a level where you deny yourself of certain things because the word of God says, stretch yourself. That is how you enlarge your capacity. Hallelujah. When the Lord gave us this vision 13 years ago, no member, and the Lord said, don't start church yet. Just go on doing my work. And the Lord said, I want to do great things through you. No offering, no tithes. No special seed, no first fruit. And the Lord will say, he will show us where to do it. Rent that hotel. You get instrument and you must do it. We can tell God we have to save for a certain time until we are able to do it. Then maybe you will save, save, save because we still want to enjoy ourselves. You can save, 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 save and only do that work once in every two months. But we learn that if you don't stretch yourself, if you don't enlarge your capacity, God will not move. So what happened? We get to a point. We will walk into the bank and say, we have student policy. Cancel it. Give us the money. We use it for the work of God. You are stretching yourself. We say instead of saving money to do the work of God, give us loan. We will pay it off. We will do the work of God. And you know what? We have come to learn that you cannot owe God. Because we were able to stretch we were able to enlarge capacity. God began to pour in. And that's where we are here today. To the glory of God. Some of you, the Lord will call. There are times the Lord will call us and say, 2 a.m., your sleep will just disappear. The Spirit will say, that is the time to pray. Then you pray through. Denying yourself of sleep. What has all the sleep brought? Ten hours of sleep. You can't take it to Sister Katie and say, please increase my, my fund, my load. But you need, there are things we can get in, in the spirit. It's time for incredible enlargement. Enlarge your capacity to receive. I will end with this. First Corinthians chapter 2, I mentioned it earlier. 
He said, what eyes have not seen, nor what ears have heard, and what no human has conceived, that is the thing that God has prepared for those who love him. Incredible enlargement is not for everybody. It is for those who love God. It is for those who love God. Who are the people that love God? Jesus said, John chapter 15, 14 verse 15. He said, if you love me, you will keep my commandment. Hallelujah. So when we talk about incredible enlargement, uh, enlarging your capacity to receive, it's not for everybody under the sound of my voice. It is for those who love God. Those who keep his commandment. Those who say Lord, I love you with all of my heart. Lord, I will obey your word. Lord, I will keep my body pure because I know my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Those who say, I will serve you noon and night I will worship you in spirit and in truth. The question is, do you love God? You can say, I'm going to enlarge my capacity because I want to receive. Ask yourself, do you love God? Did you come to church this morning because it is in your desire or you were forced? Do you pick your Bible to read because you love God, you want to hear the word, or you were forced? Do you join the church fasting because you love God or because you were compelled? He said, these things are prepared for those who love God. And those who love God are those who keep his commandment. And Jesus said, my commandment are not burdensome. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love your neighbor as yourself. Seek me when you can find me. Forgive for you shall be forgiven. Are you harboring hunger and hatred in your heart? You will not be able to receive incredible enlargement. Are you bitter? You will not be able to receive incredible enlargement. Where, when God looked down during the week, when we are in church like this, we are all holy and, and we lift up our head. But where we will see you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, someone said, Blessed is the man who do not sit in the council of the ungodly. Do we find you in the council of the ungodly? It's not for you. Because if you are found in the council of the ungodly and those who mock, you don't love God. And he said, this is not for you. How do you keep your body? Is your body being kept as the temple of God? What do you do in your secret place? Hallelujah. I need to bring the balanced message to you and to you and to you. Because I will dis do you a great dissatisfaction. I will do you a great harm if I just tell you God is going to bless you. And I don't tell you that Christ wants you to live a life of righteousness. A life that honor God. Those who love God are those who are continually on their knees and say, Lord, every day, every hour, I am lying on the altar. I present my body as a living sacrifice. When you do that, you can now begin to enlarge your capacity and you begin to see the God of glory pour out incredible enlargement. This morning, God is a God of mercy. As much as he's a God of love and God of judgment, he's also a God of mercy. That if anyone come to him and say, Lord, I surrender. I want to come to you. He's loving. Two, is righteous hand to bring you back home. 
Does God want to bless us? Yes. Does he want incredible enlargement for us? Yes. Does he want to take us to places where we have never been? Yes. But we need to play our part to love God with all of our heart. Hallelujah. This morning the Lord is speaking to someone and the Lord is saying, my child, I created you for a great thing. I want my light to shine through you. It's time for you to arise and let your light shine. I want to take you to places. I want to boast with you. I want your life to be a billboard where I will advertise my glory. But I want you to align yourself with my word. Nothing is difficult for me. Only if you are willing. If you are willing this morning, God is able. If you are willing, Willing, God is able. If you are willing, God is able. Let's rise on our feet. Incredible enlargement is what God wants for us. And He wants us to enlarge our capacity to receive. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to begin to pray this morning. Just thank God. Thank God for the word that is coming to you this morning. Thank God for the Lord speaking to you this morning. Thank God for his promise of incredible enlargement this morning. Hallelujah. If you are here this morning and you say, Lord, I have heard the word. I covet incredible enlargement i want to increase my capacity but i need to do the first thing first that is by coming clean before you if you have not received jesus into your heart or at a point you have received but your work with the lord is not where it should be i want to pray with you because I don't want you to miss that which the Lord is busy doing in this season. I don't want you to miss the plan of God for your life. I don't want you to remain where the enemy has said you should remain. I want you to break the boundary. You want to break the status quo and say, I'm coming home. I'm coming back. I'm coming back to you. I want to serve you as a child of God. I have missed it, but I'm coming back because I heard you are a God of mercy. I am coming back to you. I am surrendering my life as we all close our eyes and bow our heads. If you are here and those who are online, I want you to lift up your hand wherever you are and say, Lord, I'm coming back home. I want to be restored. I want to be restored. I need to walk in the light. I'm tired of where I am. I'm coming back. Kalido kusotoli Gone and stay. I'm coming back, Lord, to you. I am here. I've gone and stay. I'm coming back, oh, Kalian, Lord, Lord, to, to you. you. Only you, we are coming back to. Lord, take my hands, take my life. I stretch my hand, Lord, I'm coming to you. I surrender, I'm coming, I'm coming back. back. Take, take, my my hands. Hands. take my hand, take my hand, take my life. If that is your son this morning, say, take my hand, take, take my life. I'm coming back. Make the next step. I want you to take come here. Just come here in the altar. Come here and just kneel down. Just come and kneel down and say, Lord, take my hand. Just kneel down before the Lord of Lord. Humble yourself and say, 
I'm coming back, restore me. I'm coming back to take my rightful place. If that is your prayer, come this morning. Jesus is coming you. He's calling you, he's calling you. Kayaba Santalia. I surrender. I'm coming back. Take my hands, oh Lord. I want to love you the way I should love you. I want to serve you the way I should serve you. I want to worship you the way I should worship you. Kaleko Soto Leanda. I have allowed bitterness. I have allowed envy. I have allowed unforgiveness to hold me back. I am coming back, Lord. I'm coming back home. Shatala Kalindo Robosia. I'm coming back. Take my hand. Take my life. Take my hand. Just stretch your hand as we begin to pray for these people. Kalibo Soto Loko Shikayaba. God of restoration. God of restoration. Let mercy speak. Let mercy speak. Let mercy. Mercy. Kaliko Sokoriana. Come to him. Take my hand and take my life. I surrender. I'm coming back. Take my life. Take my hand. Take my life. Take my hand. I surrender. Father, we thank you for your daughters who are coming back to you this morning. We thank you that you have created this opportunity for them to come back. So, Lord God Almighty, we pray that you will be stored We pray for complete restoration. Complete restoration. 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 In the name of Jesus. She calanto co socoria, se querere de bosia, si callaba se queriande, lege se telianda, si calta calandere, se queriande co soto. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Kaliso Tolis Harabashia. We thank you, Father. A Kaliko socoria. Rede Gerele, Rika Katsakalia, Lika Raba Sekelia, Negi Sekeli Keseke, Libra Sakayande, Losoko Toliban Saka, Mamba Katekete, Lisoto Kolika Liana, Seku Sakotaka. Thank you, Jesus. Lika Raboso, Rede Bosikalia, Raba Shanda. Thank you, Father. I surrender. I am a Hallelujah. I'm coming 
coming back. Hallelujah. Incredible enlargement. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Right now I'm going to release our monthly prophetic declaration. And I'm going to pray declaring the mind of God. Kalabo Soto. All you have to do is just to claim it by saying Amen. Kalabo so Koreana. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Just allow the presence of God to move. The power of God is moving from seat to seat. Kali kasa kali andi lebro si kalabashi anda. Kede doso toli kasa kandi kedi ya. Lebe se teli kasa nta egite se keli bo son toli anda labashi ya. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus. I stand on your word as the priest of the house. And I pronounce your blessing over your children. I declare each and every one in this month of October, we experience incredible enlargement. The Lord will increase you and your children. The promise of the Lord will come to pass in your life. I pray that your borders will be enlarged. I come against limitation. I take away evil boundaries in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray according to Psalm 119 verse 32. The Lord will enlarge your heart so that you can run with his commandment in the mighty name of Jesus. Maka lebro si kayaba. In this month, the Lord will put a new song in your mouth. In this month, the Lord will put a new song in your mouth. In the name of Jesus, all the song of hold, I erase it. Begin to sing a new song. Begin to sing a new song in the mighty name of Jesus. The fish is made to swim in the ocean without struggle. The bird is made to fly in the air without struggle. God has created you to have dominion and to flourish. You will not struggle to flourish. You will not struggle to prosper. You will not struggle to have dominion in the mighty name of Jesus. Every anti-progress spirit around you in your life, I hereby take it away in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord says, what shall be given to you? O lying tongues, coals shall be poured upon you. Every lying tongue that is spreading Words contrary to the word of God. I silence those voices in the name of Jesus. Every evil musical instrument used by the enemy to produce music of shame, music of disappointment, and he wants you to dance to it. Today I set fire on those instruments. Every amplifier the enemy is using to amplify his lies in your life, in the life of your children, today we dismantle it and set it on fire. This is a month of incredible enlargement. I pray that God will go ahead of you and break forth every barriers. It will break forth every barriers in the name of Jesus. I pray that your capacity is hereby enlarged. 
your spiritual capacity is enlarged your financial capacity is enlarged your dominion is stretching forth to the nations of the earth from today when people see you they will see the glory of god when they hear about you they shall hear about the testimony of god in the name of jesus this morning The Lord said incredible enlargement. God will not take us into a new place with sickness. It is not his desire. When Abraham took possession of the land, he was not sick. When the children of Israel took possession of the land, they were not sick. At a very old age, Caleb at the age of 80 said, give me the mountain. He was healthy. I pray for supernatural strength. I pray for health in the name of Jesus. This hour, I speak with the authority that is in the name of Jesus. Anything that represents sickness, anything that represents affliction in your body, in your mind, I command it to pack his back and go now in the name of Jesus. The word of God said, as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. That word is coming true in your life. You will serve the Lord with all the members of your family in the mighty name of Jesus. If there be anyone having challenges in their family, whatever challenges it is, today I bring an end to it in the name of Jesus. I bring an end to it in the name of Jesus. This month, I command every element of heaven and earth to cooperate and align themselves with the plan of God and they shall work for your favor. This land shall yield its fruits to you. The promise of God will come to pass. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. Every day of this month shall be a month of testimony. Every day of this month, you shall experience God in the name of Jesus. When God said, I will do it, he makes sure whatever he said he will do comes to pass. Today, I pray over everyone under the sound of my voice. Every unfinished project receive the grace to complete. Anything that is standing as a stumbling block from you to complete that which you have started, I remove it in the name of Jesus. And from today, whatever you place your hearts to do, you shall achieve it. Not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. I sentence you to permanent, incredible enlargement. Flourish in the name of Jesus. Go and take territories. Go and dominate and go and fulfill the plan of God for your life. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Somebody that believes by faith, shout a loud amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. As you go out from here.